This is how pasta production leverages advanced technology to streamline mass production while preserving the authenticity and quality that pasta lovers expect. The mass production of short pasta and couscous begins with processing durum wheat, which arrives at the factory in bulk shipments, where it undergoes cleaning to remove impurities like dust, stones, and husks. This is done using vibrating sieves, air separators, and magnetic devices to ensure the grain is free of contaminants. Once cleaned, the wheat is tempered by adding water to soften the outer bran, making it easier to mill. The grains then pass through a series of rollers in a milling machine, which crushes them into semolina, a coarse flour ideal for pasta production. The semolina is sifted to remove any remaining bran or fine flour before being stored in silos ready for use. The semolina is then mixed with water in large industrial mixers. The hydration process is carefully controlled to achieve the right dough consistency. Unlike traditional bread dough, pasta dough remains crumbly rather than sticky. For short pasta shapes like penne, fusilli, or macaroni, the dough is fed into an extrusion machine. This machine consists of a large screw mechanism that compresses the dough and forces it through a bronze or Teflon die, shaping the pasta. Bronze dies give the pasta a rough texture, while Teflon dies create a smoother surface. A rotating blade at the die's exit cuts the pasta into short lengths before it moves to the drying stage. The drying stage for pasta is crucial to maintaining its shape and quality. Short pasta is transported via conveyor belts to drying chambers, where warm air circulates at controlled temperatures and humidity levels. The drying process can take several hours, as rapid drying can cause cracking. Once the pasta reaches the ideal moisture content, around 12%, it is cooled gradually to prevent breakage. Trays are used in pasta drying 
to ensure even airflow, prevent sticking, and maintain the structural integrity of short pasta shapes. Made of food-grade plastic, metal mesh, or wood, these trays allow warm air to circulate uniformly around each piece, preventing inconsistencies in drying. Since freshly extruded pasta is still soft, trays keep the pieces separate and prevent deformation, especially for delicate shapes like orecchiette or shells. Factories use automated machinery to handle trays efficiently. After extrusion, pasta is evenly distributed onto trays by vibrating feeders or rotating arms. Robotic arms or hydraulic stackers then place the trays on top of each other with precise spacing to allow airflow. The stacked trays move through drying chambers on conveyor systems, where controlled temperature and humidity gradually reduce moisture content. Accurate portioning is essential to meet packaging requirements. Factories use multi-head weighers or volumetric dosing systems to measure precise amounts before filling the packaging. Multi-head weighers use a combination of small weighing bins that quickly calculate the right quantity of pasta or couscous by continuously adjusting measurements. Short pasta is commonly packaged in plastic bags, cardboard boxes with a plastic window, or resealable pouches while couscous is often vacuum sealed or placed in airtight plastic bags to preserve freshness. The chosen packaging material is fed into a vertical form fill seal machine, which forms the packaging, fills it with the pasta or couscous, and then seals it using heat or ultrasonic sealing technology. The sealing process ensures that the package is airtight, preventing moisture from affecting the product during storage and transport.
The packaged pasta passed through a final inspection phase where sensors check for underfilled or improperly sealed packages. Any defective packages are rejected, while approved products move to the secondary packaging stage. Here, machines automatically group individual packages into larger units, such as shrink-wrapped bundles or cardboard cartons for bulk transport. The cartons are then sealed, labeled, and stacked onto pallets. The final step involves automated palletizing systems that stack the packaged products onto pallets, optimizing space for storage and transport. Some factories use robotic palletizers, which arrange cartons with precision before shrink wrapping them for stability. The pallets are then moved to temperature-controlled storage areas before being loaded onto trucks for distribution to supermarkets, wholesalers, or export markets. Through this streamlined production process, factories can efficiently meet the high demand for pasta and couscous while maintaining the authenticity and quality expected by customers.